This video series has been filmed at AGC Northampton in the UK. This is a manufacturing site certified to ITF16949 under a corporate scheme. AGC are a global organisation manufacturing automotive glass products for OE and service applications. The series simulates several scenarios in an ITF16949 audit. Watch this video and see if the auditor is undertaking an effective audit. I was wondering if you could have just while we're waiting for the operators just to give me an overview of the process. Yeah, so um, we have a, a collaborative robot, which is a robot designed to work around people. So if there's any contact on the robot, it will yeah. automatically stop. So it's right. a big safety uh, piece of equipment for us. Okay. So once the operators place the glass on the fixture, the robot will prime the area to a defined program, okay. uh, which is from CAD. Okay. Um, then it will take an image and we have a camera that will again take another image to confirm that everything's okay. And those images okay. are saved and traceable okay. for, in case of any okay. issues in the future. Okay. How do we verify those checks are being completed? Is it 100%? So yeah, so the program in here, so we have a poke, so it's a built-in pokey oak device. Okay. Um, the glass will not release until the camera system gives it the okay. Right, okay. So, so that's perhaps something we can follow through into the uh, process FMEA. Yes. To see yes. how that's managed and Yes, captured. it is, yeah. So how do we verify the vision system? Uh, so the vision system is checked regularly versus the CAD by the maintenance team. Okay. Uh, they will take a known part and just check the camera image is, is matching. Okay. So, so we have uh, master samples for that vision? Yes, we do, yeah. Right, okay. So that's perhaps something we can follow through into the maintenance team. Yes. Uh, and verify the calibration yes. status of those yes. pieces of equipment. Thank you. Okay. Would the operator be okay to talk me through the process? Yeah, of course. I'll just uh, wait here for him to finish the step okay. he's on. Obviously, I don't want to distur disturb the process. Piotr, please, can I ask you a question? Yep. Thank you. Could you walk through the process for me? Yep. We can make sure that's on position because if it's not setting correctly, okay. covering camera area, so yep. that's automatically fail. Yes. Glass on the jig. I'm pressing start button. Positioning is operator two. Okay. There is another start button. Okay. Everything's on, on green, so means that's okay. Perfect. So that's where we refer back to the master sample yes. and the verification. Yes. So the operator is looking for that pass fail. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What would happen in the event of a, a product that's failing that vision system? So a product that fails will be locked in place okay. by the jig. Yeah. Uh, then what will happen is uh, the supervisor or maintenance would have to be called yeah. to come and release the part. Okay. And we would put into our red rack system for rejects okay. to be confirmed Perfect. later on by the quality team. Okay, thank you. I'm coming back. Yes. Taking UV torch. I need to check for excess primer around. And in the middle, well. On priming area, camera window, and uh, the way of uh, priming arm. Okay. Everything's okay. So the, the glass visual... on conveyor. Perfect. Thank you very much. So, so the visual requirements that the operator is looking for there are they documented? Uh, within a standard work instruction? Yes, their standardised work instructions are on the PC, okay. uh, next to the line. And also we have a visual inspection board, which shows all of the known regular 
um, rejects that can occur in this okay. area. In this video, we see the auditor auditing the windscreen priming process. It can be seen that the process has inputs from people and also there is a collaborative robot working beside in the process. This gives an opportunity for many audit trails. It is explained by the auditee that until the priming is complete, there is a pokey oak device to ensure the product cannot be released from the fixture. This relates to ATF requirement 10.2.4, error proofing, which states, the organization shall have a documented process to determine the use of appropriate error proofing methodologies. Details of the methods used shall be documented in the process risk analysis, such as the PFMEA, and the test frequencies shall be documented in the control plan. The process shall include the testing of error proofing devices for failure or simulated failure. Records shall be maintained. Challenge parts when used shall be identified, controlled, verified and calibrated when feasible. Error proofing device failures shall have a reaction plan. There is also an opportunity to follow the audit trail to maintenance related to the vision system verification checks, which the auditee stated is checked against the CAD model. The auditor questions if there is a master sample in the area, but this was a closed audit question. Master samples, in particular for appearance items, relate to ATF requirement 8.6.3, appearance items, which includes the requirement B. Masters for colour, grain, gloss, metallic brilliance, texture, distinctiveness of image, and haptic technology as appropriate. It was good the auditor asked the operator to talk through their process, in particular what happens if a product fails the checks. The operator explains that the product is locked in the jig and can only be released by maintenance. Again, this gives the opportunity to follow an audit trail to maintenance and check the validation record of the locking system is working in the event of non-conforming product being detected. Finally, the auditor verifies the availability of work instructions and acceptance criteria in the area. So let's summarise. Due to the complexity of this process, the auditor should have made reference to the PFMEA to understand what failure modes have been identified and how the potential causes that could relate to man or the machine are controlled, and then linking this to the relevant control plan. There were several audit trails identified to the maintenance process related to the maintenance of the pokey oak system and the control of the jig in case of non-conforming product is identified.